Um, so to practice simplifying trig, one thing we do is just verify identities. So verifying is just kind of confirming it's true. Um, so we'll use trig identity, same thing we talked about last time, uh, common denominators, factoring, conjugates. Um, if none of this works, I'll try to write everything in terms of sine and cosine. And then if it turns into an absolute mess, maybe you chose the wrong identity. I really recommend just stopping and starting over um, rather than trying to fix it. Um, so this is an identity. An identity is saying this is true for any x. Uh, we're just going to prove that it is true. So I'm going to start with the left side. Um, it looks messier to me because it has a fraction. And I'm like, I've done this before, right? So I might choose the right path a little faster than you. Um, it's really easy to choose the wrong path sometimes. Um, so I notice a fraction, so we can split a fraction. This is called splitting a fraction. One plus um, sine over cosine is one over x plus sine over cosine. Sorry, one over cosine x plus sine over cosine x, right? Just like one plus two over three is one third plus two thirds. It's like doing the opposite of adding. So I'll call this splitting the fraction if you want a word for it. And the reason this is useful is one over cosine, if you go back to the previous page, is secant. Ooh, that's promising. And then sine over cosine is tangent. So we've actually just done a little math proof. We proved that these are equal to each other. And so this is telling us for any angle, these are the same thing. We proved they're equal. Um, sometimes people do a little box or QED if you've seen that. If not, it doesn't matter. But that's how you kind of indicate that you're done. All right, let's try another one. So this is an identity. This is true for any x. Um, so again, I'm going to start with the left side because it looks a lot messier than the right side. So 1 plus sine t over cosine t. Um, I notice we have fractions, so I'll probably do LCD. So I'm going to leave a little bit of space. And so LCD would just be the two denominators. Cosine times 1 plus sine t. Right. So LCD can just be combining the two de denominators. So we'll multiply the first one times 1 plus sine t. Put parentheses so you remember to multiply everything by that. And then the second one will be times cosine t. So we're doing LCD here. LCD is almost always the right choice when you have more than one fraction. So let's see, we get, we get one, we get two sine, and then we get sine squared, all over cosine t, one plus sine t, and then we get cosine squared over cosine t, one plus sine t. And now that we have LCD, let's combine them. So just making one fraction, because they have the same denominator now. And then let's just look for things. Um, let's see. I noticed sine squared and cosine squared. And that is equal to one. So that's like our new favorite identity. And then we can combine those to make two, right? One and one. It might look like we're not doing anything, but we are making progress. So it looks messy, but it is better than what we started with. Um, I noticed I could maybe factor out the two on top. So two, and then we get one plus sine t. Ooh, that looks promising because that matches something in the denominator. So if you're not making progress, again, stop and start over because sometimes you get frustrated and you just go down this crazy, crazy path. So um, if things aren't canceling, if things aren't simplifying, stop. Try something different. Um, but this is good because I see that this will cancel out, so we're making progress. So 2 over cosine. This is definitely more simplified. Let's check. What were we looking for? So we want secant. So... What's nice about this is we know what we want, so we can kind of 
gives us a hint of what to do. And so we're basically there, right? Isn't secant one over cosine? So this would be two secant, and we did it. So it's important to look at what you want as well. So make sure you check out what you want in the result. Um, but yeah, be patient. Have all the identities maybe on one piece of paper to look at. And yeah, if it gets messy, stop and start over. I can't emphasize that enough. All right, we'll do a couple more in the next video.